Hi everyone, Kirk here from Lakeshore. Welcome to today's Learning at Home STEM Challenge. Are you tired of picking up blocks the same way time and time again? You know, picking it up with your hand and putting it into a basket? Well, today we're gonna come up with a super fun way to put that block back into its basket. Do you know what a contraption is? A contraption? is a strange and overly complicated machine that performs very simple tasks. How about a chain reaction? A chain reaction is a series of events where one thing happens, causing another thing to happen, causing another thing to happen, and so on. Well, almost a hundred years ago, there was a cartoonist named Rube Goldberg who drew comic strips of crazy contraptions that used a series of chain reactions to accomplish everyday tasks like wiping your mouth, or even waking up in the morning. Well, today, we're gonna come up with a crazy contraption that'll help us put a block back into its basket. But before we begin, adults, here's where you can help. Instead of letting your kids tear through the house, here are some materials they will need. One roll of tape, four magazines, four rubber bands, 12 inches of string, two rulers, one paper bowl, one deck of cards, one thick book, one toy car or train and track, building blocks in its bin or box. After you've gathered all of the materials, make sure your kids have a safe place to build and set up their contraption. We're gonna walk through how to build each of the machines and then how to set them up in a successful chain reaction. But the key to this challenge is placement and timing. So your kids are gonna have to spend time figuring out what works just right for the way they've set up their contraption. They will be frustrated, but through trial and error, they're going to get firsthand experience with concepts like force, gravity, momentum, trajectory, and all kinds of fun stuff. They just need to push through. Every now and then, check on them. Give them words of encouragement. If you see something just missed, go, oh, so close. Ask them what went wrong. What do you think could uh, make it better? And ask them to tell you what they think their contraption should be doing why it's not doing that, and what they think they can do to make it do it the next time. You'll be really surprised by their answers. And trust me, they may be frustrated, but once it works for the first time, you will never hear the end of it. All right, got everything? Let's get started. Now kids, every great contraption starts off with a drawing. Drawing out your ideas helps you think about and plan how your contraption is going to work. Now here's my drawing for today's contraption. You'll notice my contraption has four areas. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Each of these areas is its own little contraption and they're linked together to create a chain reaction. Here's how I think this will work. The train rolls down the track and hits the cup, which pulls on the string causing the fork to pull out of the way, releasing the roll of tape to roll down the ramp, and then when it falls off and hits the lever, the bull flips backwards, popping the block up and into the basket. All right, got your materials? Let's start building our contraptions. To build area one, you'll need your thick book, your train track or toy car track, and then a toy train or car. To build a ramp, set your book, place the ramp on the edge, Take your toy train or car, put it at the top, and let it go. To build area two, you'll need your cup, plastic fork, string, and then tape. You're going to need two pieces of tape for this one, so peel off two pieces and put the roll aside for later. Take one end of the string and tape it to the top of the cup, like that, and take the other end and tape it to the handle of the fork, just like that, okay? Area three is a little bit more involved. <clears throat> You're gonna need four magazines, two pencils, four rubber bands, your ruler, and your tape. To start, take your magazines and do this. Fold it towards the center, towards the center so you get kind of a heart shape. Then take one of your rubber bands 
and put it over the around it like this to hold its shape. Do that with all four magazines. Now, once you have all four magazines, line them up and look at them. Your rubber bands may be all over the place. You're going to want to shift to your rubber bands so you have two, rub two magazines with rubber bands at about the same height and then two magazines with rubber bands a little bit lower but at the same height. So you have one height, two rubber bands, and then second height, two rubber bands. These will be your pairs. Now, take your pencil and put your pencil into the magazine like this on both sides of the pencil so that it sits over the rubber bands. Okay. Take your other two magazines and do the same thing. Notice that you have two different height pencils. Now take your ruler and lay it across the pencils like that at a downward angle. Take two pieces of tape and tape the ruler to the pencils like this on the underside. Make sure that the ruler is flat side up. Now you have a ramp. Here's your roll of tape. Watch what happens. To build your last area, you will need your second ruler, a deck of cards, a box or a paper bowl, and your tape. To make this one, you'll need two pieces of tape again. One, two. Now what you do is take your bowl and your ruler and tape your ruler onto the edge of the bowl like this. Fold it over and place tape on the other side like that. All right? Now, when you put your bowl over, or your ruler over your deck of cards like this, now you have a popper. All right? All right, now that we've built our contraptions, let's take a look again at the drawing. Look familiar? We built the ramp, the trigger, the top ramp, and then the popper. All that's left is a toy in its box. You put your toy or your block in the, in the bowl, and you'll see here I have the trigger, which is the cup and the fork. Put your fork down on the ruler like this and take your roll of tape and put it at the top of it, leaning on the fork. Okay, just like that. Look familiar? All right, so this is now we're gonna set up our contraption. The train is gonna roll down the ramp, hit the cup, pull the fork out, the tape is gonna roll down the top ramp, fall, hit this one, and then pop the block into the basket. Do you think it's gonna work? Let's give it a try. For the trigger mechanism, take your fork and put it towards the top of the ruler like this. Just enough to fit the edge of the tape on it like that, just so it's barely resting. Now, make sure that the string here is tight or else if it moves, nothing's gonna happen to your fork. So put your cup at the edge of the ramp and make sure that string is nice and tight. So when you release your car, it pulls the fork out of the way. Place your ruler on the deck of cards and make sure that it's in line with the top ruler. Take your blocks and don't put it here. That's not gonna do anything. You want it to jump. So put your, your block closer to the tip of the ruler and it flips up. All right, let's give this another shot. All right, it made it into the basket. Now, that was a really cool contraption to get a block into a basket. Think about all the fun little things we did and how we used everyday materials to create contraptions that use a chain reaction to get that block into its basket. What are some other things you can think of? Can you make other contraptions and build this out a little bit more? Or come up with your own crazy contraptions to solve another everyday task? This is Kirkwood Lakeshore. See you next time with another Learning at Home STEM Challenge. Take care.
keep watching our Learning at Home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.